Thanks for joining us for our next Tesla coil demonstration. This is a fun electricity show. The Tesla coil operates similar to a transformer. It builds up a lot of uh, voltage and then it, the electricity sort of spills out at the top in a fantastic display that looks like a bunch of uh, lightning bolts. Now, the way that we run this show, the Tesla coil heats up pretty quickly and it's a bit of a fire hazard if left on for too long. So we only switch it on for about five seconds at a time, switch it off briefly to let it cool down, and then switch it back on a few more times. So, let's get the show started. Switch off the lights, easier to see it like that. And now we have power, you hear that? All right then. Well, we're pretty much ready to go. Three, and a two, and a one. Okay, now we let it cool down for a moment, and that should suffice. Let's go again. All right, and third time's the charm. Wait a moment, and here we go again. Pretty neat, huh, folks? Now, when Nikola Tesla first invented the Tesla coil, he uh, had a broad future in mind for it. He used it for a variety of experiments in his time. He even envisioned it as potentially a way of mass transporting electricity uh, to factories and homes and whatnot, similar to how wires are used for that end today. It didn't get picked up for that purpose, of course, because you know, Tesla coils are pretty unpredictable in where they send their electricity. Also, it's a bit dangerous to be wandering near uh, you know, essentially open uh, lightning bolts near to the ground. Now, uh, that's not to say that it was a failure of an invention. It was very influential for radio and um, for radio and wireless technology. And furthermore, today it's used as a tool for education and entertainment. In fact, back when they filmed that classic monster movie Frankenstein, a Tesla coil was prominently used as a prop during the scenes with lightning, you know, shooting into the monster and all that. Well, let's continue to observe, huh? Let's do uh, round two, okay? Three, and a two, and a one. All right, we wait. Here we go again. those neon lights in the front which spell out Tesla coil and rainbow lights. Well, you might notice that they are not hooked up to any wires and they're not plugged into any uh, wall outlets. So how are they receiving power? Well, there are conductors poking out of the back of that plastic box connected to each light and they receive power from the Tesla coil's invisible electric field. Now, some people worry that this show might not be safe to run because you wouldn't want to be standing outside during a uh, lightning storm, would you? And this year we have bolts up close in front of our faces. Well, luckily we're perfectly safe on account of this cage beyond the glass. It's called a Faraday cage. It's made of metal and it ensures that all that free flowing electricity gets absorbed by the metal in the cage so it doesn't get any further than that. Essentially closes off the electric field from us. So now that we've heard my whole lecture, I'll run this a couple more times to wrap up. So here we go, three and two and a one. All right, and again. Okay, and one more time folks, here we go. Three and two and a one. Well, that's all the time we have for this hour, folks. Um, thanks for joining us.